In this video, uh, we're going to cover uh, sending a test card, um, not using the input cassette, so that we can test um, the various motors that would drive a card in, so that we can see um, why your card, your, your uh, printer is not feeding. This is a uh, 5000, HTP 5000, with a uh, large flipper. Um, the first thing that we're going to want to do if we're having a card feed error, if you're having a like an error 112 or, or similar uh, error that says car, uh, card jammed, we want to verify with it powered off. Uh, just unplug it. We want to verify the card path. So we're going to flip this, the flipper up, and you might need to get a a light source so that you can shine in there. But the card comes through here. When the flipper's down, it comes through here into the uh, flipper, and then it, the flipper either sends it back into the printer if you're doing double-sided, or it sends it to the exit tray if it's not. So roll, rotate this up, and then verify that there's not a card in the path in here. You would see you know, your card right in here somewhere. If, this, if you can't rotate it, the card may be jammed in here. Um, you'd, you'll see the, you'd see the card Usually it'll get jammed right at this roller. It'll push it in right to here. Some, occasionally it will get jammed coming out of the, the printer side into the flipper. The other thing that uh, we need to verify before we send a test card, remove the input tray and remove your cleaning roller. And then look inside to verify that there's no card right here you'll see, you'd see your card it goes between these rollers and then goes inside you'd be able to see below that metal shiny bracket there it goes under that you'd be able to see it in there and then lastly we're going to open up the printer we're going to remove the ribbon and the full and the uh, film and then we're going to look up inside here you can see the orange roller up top here that's the card path. This is the heated roller down lower that raises up and transfers the the, uh, the ribbon from that's on the film to the card. So we're going to look up in here in this entire area all the way across looking for any kind of a card up through that area. So we've now verified that the card path is clear so we can go ahead and install our film and ribbon. We can power the printer up. And then we're just going to take a blank card. Oh, we can also install our roller, clean roller. So we're just going to take a blank card and we're just going to set it between the rollers, centered between these rollers. Just set it in there. Actually, before we do that, um, pull it back, centered a little bit, but on this roller. So we've got to verify that this, this roller is what pulls the card from the cassette. It can, comes in contact with the card in here. This turns and pushes it into the other roller. So set it, instead of putting it between those rollers, Center it, but pull it back a little bit and set it, just set it on top right there, centered like that, so that we can see if it's going to feed. And then we don't even need to plug it into the computer, we don't need to use that. We're going to go and click on options on the menu, and we're going to go to menu, that says test, we're going to select, and then we just print a YMC color bar. So be ready to watch for this, we're going to click that, see it moved it in there. And now it's it's fed. So we can see that it's it's not this roller that fed. It's not these rollers because it fed. It's going to take this a minute to warm up. So I'm not going to continue that in the video because it'll it'll take several minutes. But what we're going to watch for now is to see does it uh, does it print an exit in your uh, 
depending on what flipper you have, does it exit out the printer. If it does jam, then we look in the same areas that we did before to see where it's jamming. And so this is going to take a while to warm up. So we would then, we would open the, the doors, which I'm not going to do here because it'll cancel this print. We'll open the doors, look in the flipper area. We're going to open, we're going to take out the, the off the, because uh, if, if it's there, remove the roller, look inside there. And we're going to remove the, open this door, remove the ribbon and the film. And then we're going to look in the card path up in top there, looking for the card. And then uh, we have another video on how to clear a jam if it is jamming. Um, but we just want to see where it's jamming by verifying each motor as it's pulling the card along in the path. So the first thing we need to do is check to make sure that these rollers are feeding. Uh, it could be that the cards are being inserted incorrectly. It could be that um, there's something wrong with the cassette, that it's not allowing the cards to go out. So we need to remove that variable so that we can see a single card going in so that we can go from there.